Morning, Ajay. Morning, Pat. Hiya, Julian. Hi, Mr. Clark. Hello, Ajay. Hi, Mira. Oh, hi, Julian. Look what I found. It was on the ground just outside the cafe. Why, that's Dorothy Thompson's umbrella. Lucky you were here, Pat, or I'd have sent it to the lost property office in Pancaster. What's a lost property office? Well, if something gets lost on the train or at the station, it's taken to the lost property office. And it's kept there safely until the owner comes to get it. Could we have a lost property office in Greendale, Dad? Hmm. Maybe I should think about setting one up. Right. I'd better be off to the post office. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, Dad. Bye, Pat. Can we take Dorothy a lost property, Dad? Of course you can, love. Mind how you go now. Look, Mira. Dad bought me some new dinosaur stickers. They're some fantastic ones. <coughs> oh, Bonnie, do be quiet. She's lost her squeaky bone somewhere. <laughs> oh, dear. Well. Tell you what, Bonnie. I'll keep an eye out for it while I'm on my rounds. Oh, there you are, Bonnie. Pat will find it. <coughs> Morning, all. Morning, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. And what can I do for you today? I've got a parcel to send, but it's coming undone at the end here. I'm not very good with sticky tape. Eh, uh, no, so I see. Uh, here's my sticky tape, Arthur. Use as much as you want. Thank you, Mrs Goggins. Just one more parcel for you to take. It's for Amy. Hmm. It's a special delivery. She'll have to sign for it. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Bye, Pat. Bye, Arthur. Huh? Oh, Bye, hush, Pat. Bonnie. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I told you I wasn't very good with sticky tape. Oh, Arthur. Here. <laughs> Let me help you. Oh. Oh. Thompson. Oh, hello, you two. What brings you here? I found this at the station. It's lost property. Pat said it was yours. Well, I never. I must have dropped it yesterday. Thank you, Mira. Dad was going to send it to the lost property office in Pencaster. Oh, I'm glad he didn't. I wouldn't want to go all the way to Pencaster just to pick up my umbrella. Dad might start a lost property office in Greendale. And I'm going to help him. But you haven't got any lost property, Mira. I know. But people are always losing things, aren't they, Mrs Thompson? Well, I certainly am. Here, have an apple each as a reward. Thanks, Thanks Mrs Thompson. Thompson. Bye. Bye. Bonnie, what are you doing out on your own? I think she's looking for her squeaky bone, Jess. Come on, Bonnie, let's take you home. Mrs Goggins will be worried. <laughs> hey, come out of there. I haven't got your bone. Let's get you home, and quickly. I've still got to get that special delivery to Amy. I can't believe you got two Tyrannosaurus Rexus in one packet of stickers. Well, I'll give you one of mine if you give me... Um, a Stegosaurus sticker. Look! It's Bonnie's squeaky bone. That's her favourite toy. But it's also lost property. It can be the first thing in our lost property office. 
When you flower, you'll make a lovely show, my beauties. Julian, look! More lost property! How do you know it's lost? It might belong to Reverend Timms. Well, we could put it in our lost property office and keep it safe for him. OK. Then can we play with my stickers? Now, where's my trowel? Hmm, how very peculiar. <laughs> Hello there, Pat. What have you got for me today? Well, I don't know what it is, but I do know it's heavy. Wait, it must be the new school books I ordered. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Bonnie. Back in the van with you. Sorry I can't stay. I'm in a hurry to get a parcel to Amy. Bye. Bye, Pat. I can't manage all this at once. I'll have to make two trips. Look, Julian. Something else for the lost property office. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Oh, Pat, thank you so much for bringing Bonnie home. No problem, Mrs Goggins. Better rush. I've still got to get that special delivery to Amy. <coughs> hey, where's me shopping gun? Good morning, Jeff. Oh, hello, Reverend. Have you seen a bag of shopping? I left it out here a minute ago, and it's vanished into thin air. My gardening trowel has disappeared too. Should we tell PC Selby, do you think? I think we should find him right away. Hello, Pat. Have you got my special delivery? I certainly have. Meow. <coughs> It's here somewhere. I put it in here myself. It's special medicine for one of the Pottage's cows. Daisy's really not well. It's gone. <gasps> what? Oh. Your parcel. It's gone. Oh, no. What happened? I'm terribly sorry, Amy. It must have fallen out of the van. Oh, dear. What am I going to do? Daisy needs that medicine today. Don't worry. I'll go and search in the village. Someone will have seen your parcel. Meow. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Would you like a drink, girls? Oh, yes, please, yes, Bob. Please. Look, Julian, more lost property. I bet they're Sarah's toys, Mira. This is her house. Sarah! Sarah! She's not here. We'd better look after them for her. All right. But then can we play with my stickers? <gasps> and what's that? It's a parcel for Amy. How did that get here? Never mind how it got here. It's lost, isn't it? Oh, the sooner we open our lost property office, the better. Come on! Hey! Where's my ball? And my skipping rope. Someone's taken them. <gasps> Look. A packet of stickers. It's a clue. Maybe the person who dropped these stickers is the person who took our things. You're right, Lucy. Come on, let's go tell your dad. 
after the I had a special delivery from Ursula. I don't know why I can't find my trowel anywhere. Stop! One at a time, please. So I can write down everything that's gone missing. Dad! Dad! Someone's taken our toys! <gasps> but look, we found these stickers on the ground where our toys were. Stickers? These stickers are a clue. That's what I said, Dad. That's my girl. The odour of these stickers must be the Greedale thief. I think those stickers belong to Julian. <gasps> oh, but that, your Julian would never take anyone else's things. No, he wouldn't. Not unless he thought they were lost. Lost property. I think I might know where all your things are. Come on. I can't find my spoon. There. Everything's ready. What happens now? We just have to wait for people to come and fetch their things. <gasps> Listen, they're coming already. Welcome to the Greendale Lost Property Office. Can we help anyone? Um, um, uh, uh, oh, my trusty trowel. My shopping. Oh, here's your squeaky bone, Bonnie. <laughs> That's my ball. And my rope. You shouldn't have taken our things away. Well, that solves the mystery of the Greendale thief. It certainly does. I'm sorry, everybody. We thought all your things were lost. We didn't mean to steal them. We were trying to help. My parcel. You found my parcel. Yes, it was on the road outside Sarah's house. Well done, you two. This parcel is some medicine for a sick cow at the Pottages. I'd better get there right away. Bye, everyone. We really did think we were being helpful, Dad. I know, love. So how do you fancy helping me set up a real lost property office for Greendale? Oh, yeah! Which reminds me, have you lost anything this morning, Julian? Uh, I don't think so. What about these? My stickers! Thanks, Dad. I'm really sorry about today. <laughs> Never mind, Julian. A lost property office is a good thing to have. I know, as long as the property really is lost. <laughs> oh, these parcels are all addressed to you, Pat. Ah, that'll be the plants I've been waiting for. Sarah's having a day out, so I'm tidying up the garden while she's away. As a surprise. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> well, you've got your work cut out here, Pat. Yes, I'd better get this stuff into the van. I'll give you a hand, Pat. Oh, dear. I wonder where Pat's got to. Oh, I've been looking forward to this day out for ages. <laughs> Me too. What are you lot doing today? We're going to be knights. Knights? Look, we've got our own shields and everything. Come on! Oh! And come on, Pat. I knight you, Sir Julian. Knight of Greendale. What's that for? I'm making him a proper knight. Can I be one too? No. Why not? Because you're a girl. Girls can't be knights. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Right, then. <sighs> Girl knights against boy knights. Right. Come on, Julian. Um, Mira, what sort of things do knights do? Well, they rescue people. And live in big castles. And have battles with dragons and things, don't they? Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, Pat, thank goodness you're home. We're off to the station to catch the Greendale rocket. You've got a lovely day for it. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye. Come on, Jess. Action station. Come on, you lot. Could you give me a hand, please? No problem. The Greendale Knights can do anything. You girls can't be nice. You're not strong enough. Oh, yes, we are. We're faster, too. <laughs> oh, no. Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm Pat. All right. Tell you what. Why don't you knights leave the garden to me? Oh. Okay then. What shall we do now? I know. Let's look for dragons, just like the real knights do. D -d -d dragons? Do we have to? You'll never be a knight, Lucy. Girls are scared of everything. No, we're not. I'm not scared of anything, especially dragons. Oh! Huh? It's a dragon. That's no dragon, Lucy. <laughs> That's Alf in his tractor. Just in time, too. Only a girl would be frightened of a tractor. What is it, Dad? It's going to be an arbor, Julian. You make it into an arch shape, plant roses all around, and they grow up it. Oh, pretty. Ah, and Ted will be here soon to finish it off. Goodness. Not long until Sarah gets back. We'd better get this new flower bed made. Right you are, Pat. A better knight than you. <gasps> no, you're not. You haven't even got any armor. Neither of you. Hey. I know what you need. These. Sacks? Yes, but they look like chainmail, see? Just like knights used to wear in battle. Dad. Can you make one for me? And me. You silly fly. Take that. And, and that. <laughs> you look like your soul fighting, Pat. Swords. That's what knights need. Almost finished. We just need Ted and his tools to make it nice and steady while we tidy up the mess. Here we go. Wooden swords. Ooh. Great. I'm God, Bill. Take that. We'll see about that. Take that. <laughs> Come on, Lucy. We can have a jewel too. Uh, <laughs> do we have to? On God. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, Lucy. Maybe Bill's right. Girls can't be knights. We are the Greendale Knights, and we are good and strong. We travel around Greendale, righting every wrong. We have our shiny helmets, we have our victory song. We've made our swords of armour, and we like to put them on. So dragons, you beware. We're always on our guard and not easy to 
scare With our mighty swords Protecting all the land We hold our heads up high And together we will stand Look out! Sorry, Jess. We didn't mean to frighten you. Bill, look what you've done. Sorry, Dad. Oh, I think it's time you knights took a break. Meow. Why don't you go inside for some juice and sandwiches? OK. Sorry, Dad. We just wanted to be real knights. But everything keeps going wrong. And we haven't even got a castle. Hmm. Maybe they can have a castle after all. Eh? How's that, Pat? <laughs> Julian! We're coming, Dad! Come on, knights! <laughs> you said you needed a castle. On peas. It's brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Oh, it's so pretty. Come on, let's try it out. Hey, <laughs> I think they like it, but yes, thanks, Alf. Now I wonder what's happened to Ted. Ah, he should be here by now. <laughs> Look, I'm the queen of the castle. No. I'm the king of the castle. Why don't you both be king and queen together? Good idea, Lucy. And I'll be the brave prince. And you can be the castle guard. The guard? The castle guard raises the alarm if we get attacked. It's a very important job because you have to protect the castle and everyone in it. Oh, dear. See you later. Quick! Quick! There's something coming! What is it? Where's all that smoke and fire coming from? Maybe it's smoke from a dragon. No. Look, it's a scary night. A real one. What's that in his hand? Oh, no. He's got a fire sword. Ah! Oh, no. Castle Guard! I need to protect my friends! Go away! Leave us alone! Hey, Aunt Lucy! Ted! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to give you a fright. I've come to fix the arbor for Pat. Do you know where he's got to? He's there! What's wrong? We heard shouting. Oh, hello, Ted. I was wondering where you'd got to. Dad! Dad! Lucy saved us from a scary night. You were really brave, Lucy. Just like a proper knight in shining armour. Dad, would you knight Lucy for us? I'd be honoured. Me? A proper knight? Wow! I knight you, Lady Lucy Selby, Knight of Greendale. Hooray! Oh, it's been such a lovely day. <laughs> yes, I can't remember when I last had so much fun. Oh, no. Here they come. And the garden's still not finished. Don't worry, Pat. We'll help. Come on, knights! We are the Green Gun Knights, with chainmail on our backs. It came from Postman Pat, he made it from his sacks. Searching for adventure, we travel near and far. We have to go on foot, cause we don't have a car. <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Welcome home, Lady Sarah. <laughs> Come on, Mum. You have to walk through us to get to the back garden. Oh. <laughs> All right. 
the most beautiful garden I've ever seen. How did you do all of this? Well, everyone helped. Oh, Pat, you really are a knight in shining armour. <laughs> that makes two of us then, Lucy. Not again. It's no good, love. I can't mend the water pipe. Oh, no. This leak is getting worse and worse. I think it's great. I'm going to call Ted. Perhaps he can fix it. There, the Ted Glenn fully automated get you up machine. I'll never sleep through my alarm again. <laughs> Marvellous. Hey, oh, who's that? Hello. Ted, it's Pat. Oh. Oh. Uh, we've got a burst water pipe. Don't worry, I'll be over straight away. Don't worry, love. If anybody can fix this, Ted can. I think it's fun. I like having breakfast in the rain. That's the water turned off, but it's a big job, I'm afraid. It'll take a while to mend. Oh, dear. What are we going to do in the meantime? Well, we can't stay here. Not with the water off. And everything's soaking wet. We could go and stay with my sister in Pencaster, I suppose. But what about school? And delivering the post. Well, uh, you could always come and stay with me. Wow! Can we, Mum? Well, we... we... don't want to trouble you. Oh, please, please, please! It would be so cool to stay at the water mill. Hmm. Mm. Now then, Pat can have the hammock. Sarah can have the couch. And I'll have the camp bed. What about you, Ted? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll bed down in one of the outhouses. Now then... What does this do, Ted? That? Uh, it's one of my new inventions, the Ted Glenn Fully Mechanised Auto Cat Basket. Wow! How does it work? First you put your cat in. Meow! Like so. Then you decide what time you want him to get up in the morning. And off you go. Um, perhaps it needs a bit more work. Shall we get some firewood in? Uh, it's very good of you to put us up like this, Ted. That's all right, Pat. I could do with the company. It must get a bit lonely up here all on your own. I can't complain. I've got the mill and all the inventions to keep me busy. The Ted Glenn Fully Automated Cooking Machine. First, place the sausages in the frying pan. Next, take the beans. Ah, right, now you... Hang 
on. What's happened to the sausages? I definitely put them in. Oh, well. Now for the eggs. Wow. Mum! Look out! Oh. Hello, you two. How are you getting on with my cooking machine? Oh, dear. Not anymore, love, no. Sorry. It's just, well, I hate to sound ungrateful, but I'm not too keen on Ted's funny inventions. Uh, I know what you mean, love. Still, at least we're safe in bed. They can't get to us here. Oh, what? What's happening? Oh! Oof. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't realise how much I'd miss me own hammock. Morning, Ted. I got up early to do a bit of a spring clean. What do you think? Uh, I... well, I... I uh... <sighs> Morning, Ted. Uh. Morning, Bud. Y you all right? It didn't get much sleep last night. Him and me both. <sighs> Your get-you-up machine kept getting me up. Every five minutes. Oh, uh, um, I'm sorry. Right. Who's next in line for the bathroom? Oh, thanks, Sarah. I'll just... Me! <sighs> oh, dear. <sighs> Sorry, Jess, I didn't see you there. I'm not used to all this company. Hello, Charlie. Come to see Julian. Um, yeah, that's right. I heard you were staying here. Oh, you're so lucky. All these inventions and, and, and machines. We're going to start Ted's new washing machine invention in a minute, Charlie. Wow! You can stay and watch if you like. Oh! Thanks, Mrs Clifton. Right, that's the clothes. What now? We fill her up. Pat, if you can hang that bucket on that hook. Right you are, Ted. would have thought doing the washing could be such fun. Here she comes. Just guide her in now. That's grand. Right then, I'll get off and fix that pipe of yours. OK, Ted, thanks. Bye. Yeah. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Ted. I hear you got company down at the water mill. That's right. It's not going too well, though. Why's that, Ted? I don't know. I suppose I'm just not used to having other folk around. You've been living on your own too long, Ted. And that's the way I like it, I'm afraid. So the sooner I get Pat's house fixed up, the better. Right. That's all the water. Now for the soap. Oh, I do hope we can go home soon, Pat. I've seen enough of Ted's inventions to last me a lifetime. Mind your backs, please. Inventors coming through. What are you two up to? We're, we're making an invention, Mr Clifton. Just like one of Ted's. Replace damaged pipe, mend ceiling, 
repaint. Sounds like a big job, Ted. I'll give you a hand if you like. I'm off duty in a few minutes. Thanks, Arthur. It'll still take time. Pity we can't get a third mum. Hello. If you need a job done, call him up. He's the one. Find the workshop and then you'll get help from Ted Glenn. Let's get help from Ted Glenn. Stay here one moment longer. Just look at your trousers. But what about our invention? We haven't finished it yet. I'm sorry, Julian, but Mum's right. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Where are you going? To tell Ted we're leaving. There. All done. Nice work, lads. Oh. What's up, Ted? I thought you were looking forward to having your place to yourself again. I am. I'm just worried about Pat and Sarah. They're going to be so disappointed when they hear they've got to move out. They seem to be enjoying living at my house. Hello? That'll be Pat. Oh, heck. Hello, everyone. My, you've done a grand job. Oh, you can move back in straight away. Wow, Ted. That's absolutely fantastic. I, I mean, that's great, Ted. You must have worked very hard, all of you. You're not too disappointed. No, no, I'm, I'm very grateful. But what about you, Ted? Won't you be lonely without us around? Mm, don't you worry about me, but uh, I'll be OK. Come on, then. Let's go and give Sarah the news. What? Oh, but that's... <coughs> Very disappointing that we have to leave Ted's wonderful house. But we'll be glad to go home, of course. Can't we stay a bit longer, please? No. no. <sighs> Ted's put up with us for quite long enough, Julian. But, but, we, we, we've just finished his, his present. What? They've been working on it all day. It's to say thank you for having us. Ta-da! <laughs> It's an invention, Ted. Like one of yours. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. What does it do, Charlie? It it controls all the other machines in the place. What? Ted. I'm so sorry. We'll tidy up before we go. No, no, you're all right. I like it like this, actually. It feels more like... Uh, more like home. Hey. Oh, salad, sausage casserole, they all sound yummy. I wonder which recipe Chef Olivier is going to cook. Just fancy, a famous chef coming to Greendale. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Oops. Looks like you could learn a thing or two from Chef Olivier, Pat. Sorry, love. Oh, don't worry. Come on, I'll make you some breakfast. Oh, dear. I don't have time. I'd better be heading to the post office. This'll do me. Cheerio, love. Bye, Pat. Morning, Mum. Any breakfast? <laughs> there you go, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> I think Sarah's right, Jess. I think I should learn to cook. Well. I'm a much
much better chef than you. You can't even cook. Can too. You can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. can't. That's enough, you two. If you both want to be chefs so badly, why don't you give me a hand? Gardening? I'm picking some fruit and vegetables to cook. Oh, look. There's Alf. Hello there, Alf. Shh. You'll scare the fish away. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry, Alf. Have you caught much? Nay, not a bite. And I'm trying to catch a fish for that Chef Olivier's cooking class. <laughs> oh, whack. That was my last bit of bait. Hang on, Alf. I might have something you can try. Hey, I'll give it a shot. I'd best be going. Good luck, Alf. Uh, hi. Thanks, Pat. Uh, cheerio. Well, I'm nervous. Ha! Huh. I picked more than you. No, you haven't. I'm much faster. Says who? Me. Race you. Tom? Katie! Catch, Mum! Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Stop! <gasps> <sighs> Come on, you two. I think you might be safer helping out in the kitchen. Mrs. Goggins. Oh, oh, hello, Pat. I didn't see you there. <laughs> You've got a lot of cherries to oh. sell there. Oh, they're not for the shop, Pat. These are from my garden for Chef Olivier. I'm so looking forward to his cooking class. Could you give me a wee hand to prepare them? I'd love to, Mrs. Goggins, but I'm not very good at cooking. Oh, it's very easy. Look. Well, OK, I'll give it a go. Oh! Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, dear. I am sorry, Mrs Goggins. Oh, it's OK, Pat. Maybe you'd be best off delivering the post. Yes, good idea. We put the fruit in there, then whiz it all up, and we'll have a lovely fruit drink. Can I ah. press the button, Mum? No, me! Not yet. First we have to... Oh! Put the lid on. I wonder what's making that funny noise. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Hello, Ted. Hello there, Pat. Come and take a look at me latest invention. What do you think? Uh, mm, well, it's great, Ted, but uh, <laughs> what does it do? It's a sausage-making machine. All you have to do is pull this lever down. Uh, uh. Here, Ted, I'll give you a hand. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> There you go. Perfect sausages. Wow. Well done, Ted. Oh, it was nothing. Simple, really. Jess! Oh, heck. Quick, but let's get this thing stopped. Oh. 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 What 
am I going to do with all these sausages? Well, Jess could always have them for his tea. Meow. Here's your post. Bye, Ted. Hmm. What can we do now, Mum? Watch. Wow! Hi, everyone. Hello, Pat. What do you think of our special kitchen uh -huh. for Chef Olivier? It looks great. Well done. Thanks, Dad. Do you want to try it out? Oh, no, I, I, I'm not very good at cooking. It's easy, Pat, it's easy. You see, you see, you just have to understand the science behind it. Now, take this egg, for example. It's just a, a, a an ordinary egg, but if you, you use just the white bit, you can add sugar and air and and it turns into meringue, like this. Oh, that's really clever, Charlie. And the mixture's ready when when you can tip the bowl upside down and it doesn't fall yeah. out. <laughs> See? Wow. Whoops! Oh! Oh dear! If I don't hurry up, I won't get finished in time to see Chef Olivier. Bye. Bye, Bye Dad. Meow. It's not time for the cookery class yet. We know. We just want to make sure we've got good seats. We're dying to get his autograph, aren't we, Lucy? Hmm. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle. Yes, Sarah? When's Chef Olivier going to be here? Oh, well, I'm sure he'll be arriving any minute now. Ooh, that was the last letter, Jess. Let's go. Hello there, Sarah. Lucy? Oh, no. Am I too late? Have I missed the cookery class? No, Pat. Chef Olivier hasn't even arrived yet. Oh, dear. Yes, that's me. Oh, I see. Oh, dear. I hope he's feeling better soon. Yes, I, I understand. Thanks for letting us know. Uh, <clears throat> I'm afraid it's bad news, everyone. Aww. Chef Olivia's fallen sick and he'll not be able to make it to our cookery demonstration. What am I going to do with me sausages? And my cherries. And me fish. Wait a minute, everyone. Maybe we don't need Chef Olivier after all. Yes, we do. Not if we all work together. Have you still got that recipe book, Sarah? Yes. I brought it with me for Chef Olivier to sign. Well, it looks like we've got plenty of ingredients. So let's get cooking. Something you said 
Mr. Thompson. Well done, Mum. Meow. Just look at your finished food. Oh. Hooray! Hooray! We've decided we don't want Chef Olivier's autograph. We'd like your autograph instead. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. You really saved the day. Chef Olivier would be proud of you. And so am I, love. Looks like you won't be burning the toast anymore. Eh, Chef Pat? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's get stuck in. All this cooking's hungry work. Morning, Pat. Morning, Jess. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Chilly out there today. Uh, that's all I've got for you today, I'm afraid. You'll have to collect the rest of the post from the station. Ajay should be back from Pencaster with it by now. Ajay? Is everything all right? No, it's not all right. The rocket's frozen solid, and I haven't been able to get to Pancaster to collect the post today. I'm just trying to unstick the water pipe to get her going again. Hmm. Looks like it's come unstuck all right. Oh, no! The Greendale rocket will never move now. Look at the car park, too. Oh, dear. All that water has frozen solid. <laughs> How am I going to get rid of all this ice? I don't know, Ajay. But now I haven't got much post to deliver, I'll get back as soon as I can and give you a hand. Thanks, Pat. Oh, this... this is slippy. Ooh, steady. Whoa. Hey, that was close. Meow. Careful, Jess. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Come on, Jess. We've got post to deliver. Mira, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at school? The heating isn't working. Mr Pringle sent us all home until he can get it fixed. Oh, dear. Poor Jeff. Mum, can we play outside? OK, but be careful because it's very icy out there. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you two. No school today. No, the heating's broken. Would you like a ride on our sledge, Pat? <laughs> Not today, thanks. You two have fun, though. Thanks. Come on. There you go, Julia. Oh, thanks, Pat. What's that you're doing? Oh, well, it's a, it's a bit slippy out here, so I'm sprinkling some grit on the path. It melts the ice. What a good idea. That's just what Ajay needs for the frozen car park. Well, I've got plenty to spare, Pat. You're welcome to take this sack and give it a try. Thanks, Julia. That's very kind of you. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. Meow. Careful on the path. I haven't gritted all of it yet. Whoops. I see what you mean. Gangway! <laughs> 
Ta-da! Oh, wow! Did you see Pat go? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Jess. Meow. Oh! Meow. Meow. It's just like a real ice ring. And it's brilliant for sliding, too. Watch this! Woohoo! Jeez on bees! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's fantastic! My turn! Woo! <laughs> Come on, Mira! No, I'm going to dance on the ice like a real ice skater. That's oh. boring. Come on, Bill. Let's see who can slide the best. <laughs> Nice try, Mira. Thank you. But what you need are some ice skates. I used to have a couple of old pairs lying around somewhere. Ooh, can I try them, Dad? Hi. Why not? I'm not having much luck fixing the train. Why don't we both have a go? I'll see if I can find them. Thanks, Dad. Are you coming, Jess? Watch out, sheep. I've got letters to deliver. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, dear. This ice is making things very tricky. I hope Ajay's OK at the station. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. Maybe these ice skates weren't such a good idea after all. Oh, come on, Dad. It'll be fun. Ouch! Ouch! Oops! Sorry, Dad. Oh, it's OK. Go on. Give them a whirl. <laughs> well done, Mira. You're doing great. Just takes practice, that's all. I think I'll stick to driving trains. Oh. Watch out, Ajay! Hey. Hey. hey! Watch out, lads! <laughs> Hello there, Ted. Whoa! What? Watch out! Ooh. Some post for you, Ted. By heck, but that were impressive. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm having a right job delivering the post with all this snow and ice about. Oh, well, you see, that's where my latest invention comes in handy. It's the Ted Glenn automatic de-icing machine. It melts all that snow and ice in a jiffy. Watch. All you have to do is point it at what you want to de-ice. Like this. Wow, now that is impressive. Ajay could do with that to de-ice the Greendale rocket and the car park. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Come on, you two. Don't you want to try skating? No! This is much more fun! <laughs> I'll go and see if I can find something to slide on to make it faster. Whoa! Oh, come on, Bill. All proper ice skaters have skating partners. Nah, skating's for girls. Why? Cos boys can't do it. Can't, sir. Go on, then. Show me. <gasps> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> It was fun. 
Look, I got these sacks from the post van on the train to slide on. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Come on, let's just try out those sacks. But I thought you were my skating partner. <laughs> hey, everybody. Come and get some nice hot chocolate. Yay! 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 You're skating really well now, Mera. Bill, Julian, have you been skating too? No, we've been sliding. Oh, I see. Mum, Dad, will you come and watch me do my ice dance? As soon as you've finished your hot chocolate. I wonder where Ajay's got to. I don't know, but doesn't look like he's had much luck with this. Look at those icicles. Wait till I'm done with my machine. Let's try it on the rocket first, and then we can get cracking on the car park. <coughs> wow, Pat! How did you get rid of all those icicles? With Ted's new de-icing machine. What do you think? It's wonderful. Thank you, Pat. I'll de-ice the car park now. No! no! Stop! 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 What's wrong? We don't want you to melt the ice in the car park. Why not? It's our ice rink. Ice rink? Aye. They've been playing on the ice all day. Mira's even been practising an ice dance on skates. Well, now you're talking. I love a bit of ice skating, me. I didn't know you could ice skate, Ted. Me? Oh, no, I've got two left feet. I just like to watch. Oh, I really need someone to skate with me to do my special ice dance. Can you skate, Pat? No, sorry, Mira. I Pat, you can. You might not have had skates on, but you were doing a grand job on that ice earlier. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, uh, no, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, please, Pat. All the proper ice skaters have partners to skate with. Go on, Pat. You'll be great. <sighs> Boy, heck, Jess. Them's the best ice dancers I've ever seen. Meow. Thanks, Pat. You're a great ice dancer. Thank you. Are you OK, Pat? Um, <laughs> yes, thanks. But maybe I'll leave the skating to the real ice dancers like you from now on. Meow. 